To date, we've tested 150 different vacuums, including 94 robots, 23 uprights, and 41 cordless vacuums. We put vacuums through a battery of objective and data-driven tests to find the absolute best vacuums for 2024. We're organizing this list by type of vacuum and then by price, from most expensive to the most budget-friendly. First up, let's discuss the best upright vacuums. Across the entire list of vacuums, we recommend that Dyson Ball Animal 3 is the top performer when it comes to raw cleaning performance. While other vacuums comes close, nothing quite beats the 99.4% debris removal across all floor types. In addition, none of the long hair tangled around the brush roll and practically all of the pet hair was removed. Thanks to an adjustable cleaning head, which raises or lowers gates to adjust the suction and seal on the floor, the Animal 3 cruised through our test with ease. The body of the Animal 3 is completely sealed, ensuring debris doesn't get scattered around your room as you're cleaning. Plus, it comes with a few useful accessories and attachments that aid in cleaning. Usability is solid, as the Dyson Ball Animal 3 is a relatively simple device. Both of the filters are washable, and the dustbin utilizes Dyson's classic point-and-shoot style. The Animal 3 finds itself in the middle of the pack of the upright vacuum price range. By all accounts, it is an absolute steal if you're looking for the best raw cleaning performance in an upright package. Being the most expensive upright vacuum on this list, the Shark Stratos Upright is a powerful contender. During our testing series, it removed 98.9% .9 of all debris across all floor types. In addition, it completely avoided tangles and long hair tests and removed all of the pet hair from our high pal carpet. Furthermore, the 0.4 gallon dustbin is completely sealed, keeping all of the smoke in our test inside the vacuum. Both the standard version and the True Pet upgraded Shark Stratos have the same base vacuum, but the True Pet has more accessories and attachments. Another great advantage to the Stratos is the ability to lift the dustbin away from the device, turning it into a canister vacuum. Additionally, this upright and all vacuums in the Stratos lineup come with odor neutralizing pods that help mask bad odors that occur while cleaning. Compared to the other upright vacuums on this list, the Shark Navigator Liftaway Pro may not look like it compares. However, the asking price for this vacuum makes it a great pick for those on a tighter budget. It has solid performance in our cleaning test, removing 83.6% of all debris across all floor types. The dip in the score really only came from high power carpet, as performance on low power carpet and hardwood was excellent. It showed great results in our long hair tests, keeping the majority of it from tangling, but struggled more in our pet hair tests, not quite removing all of it from carpet. However, the device was completely sealed in our smoke sealant test, which is something even some high performance vacuums fail to accomplish. It comes with useful accessories and the same lift wave features the Shark Stratos has, allowing it to function as a canister vacuum when needed. Additionally, the dustbin is the biggest on this entire list, giving you more space for dirt and debris. Overall, it is again not the absolute best, but still a great pick considering the inexpensive price point. Next up, let's talk about cordless stick vacuums. The Dyson Gen 5 Detect and Gen 5 Outsize are the latest and greatest cordless stick vacuums from Dyson and arguably the best cordless stick vacuums ever built. In our test, the Dyson Gen 5 Detect removed 98.4% of all debris, avoided long hair tangles, and removed all the pet hair from high power carpet. It has an incredibly long run time of 72 minutes on the lowest power mode, and a 0.2 gallon dustbin is completely sealed. The Gen 5 Detect keeps all the great usability features, including an auto mode, robust display, and adjustable cleaning head, but makes some key changes as well. Most notably, the controls have switched to a button as opposed to the old trigger design. But even more impressive is the built-in crevice tool. By simply pressing a button, the extension wand can be removed, revealing the crevice tool in its place. Additionally, the vacuum can lay down nearly completely flat and comes with a variety of useful attachments. In addition, the Gen 5 comes in an outsized version with a larger dustbin of 0.5 gallons, an extra battery, and a larger cleaning head. While the Dyson Gen 5 Detect is the latest and greatest, Dyson has a number of other high-performance cordless stick vacuums within their lineup. Even models that are a few years old, including the Dyson V11 and V10, have incredible cleaning performance. Due to their age, a lot of these older models come in at a cheaper price while still offering excellent performance. If you want Dyson but don't want to pay the Gen 5 Detect pricing, take a look at the V10, V11, V12, and V15. 
Each of these vacuums offers incredible performance, suction, and usability in a cordless vacuum. All in all, the Dyson Gen 5 The Tech is set at a high price. But if you're looking for the latest cordless stick with cutting edge features and fantastic performance, this is it. Our mid-range pick for cordless vacuums easily fell to the Shark Stratos Cordless. Released in tandem with the Shark Stratos Upright, it packs a lot of the same features and fantastic performance. In our test, the Stratos removed 96.7% of all debris across all floor types. Long hair didn't tangle and it removed all of the pet hair from the carpet. It has the longest runtime of any cordless vacuum on this list on a single battery, coming in at just under 79 minutes. Additionally, the dustbin is completely sealed, ensuring the debris doesn't scatter around the room as you clean. It packs odor neutralizing pods, the same that are used on the Stratos Upright, and has a few included accessories. Unique to the cordless Stratos is a bendable extension wand that allows you to clean under furniture without bending over or crouching down. While it doesn't have perfect performance across the board, the Stratos Cordless is still a fantastic vacuum. When you consider the asking price, it's an easy to recommend vacuum. Despite being the budget friendly pick, the Samsung Jet 75 is a great choice as well. It removed 99.3% of all debris in our test, having perfect results on hardwood flooring. Long hair and pet hair performance wasn't perfect, but still solid. In addition, the 0.21 gallon dust bin is partially sealed, leaking a small amount of smoke into the air during our test. This isn't ideal, but still within an acceptable range in our view. The runtime was quite shorter than other stick vacuums on this list, which means you'll need to charge it more often. That said, our runtime test is run with the Turbo Action Brush attached. Samsung states you can expect up to 60 minutes of runtime with no motorized attachments. It comes with a variety of tools that aid in specific cleaning situations, washable filters, and can lay down almost completely fat while still cleaning. Finally, let's discuss robot vacuums. The Roborock S8 Pro Ultra comes at a steep asking price, but it backs it up with numerous bleeding edge features. Debris removal performance was exceptional, cleaning 97.9% .9 of all debris across all floor types. While long and pet hair performance struggled, the hair was easy to remove from the brush roll. However, the mopping performance was excellent. Thanks to the ability to raise and lower the mop pads, the S8 can vacuum and mop at the same time without getting carpets or rugs wet. The robot is equipped with LiDAR, an RGB camera, and internal sensors that enable excellent obstacle avoidance. Furthermore, it can quickly map and successfully navigate while cleaning without getting stuck. Maintenance is less frequent thanks to the robot's docking station included. It can automatically empty the debris, refill the water supply, and wash and heat dry the mop pads. The controls are simple and the app is intuitive. If you like the idea of Roborock but need something less expensive, the Roborock Q Revo and S7 series are both great choices. Both are less expensive while still offering most of the same features that we see with the S8. Despite being an older model in terms of when it was released, the Roomba S9 Plus still stands as one of the best performing robot vacuums we've tested. Across all floor and debris types, it cleaned up 99.0% of all debris. While it struggled more with long hair performance, having 56.7% of strands tangle, the pet hair performance was excellent. It lacks mopping capabilities and obstacle avoidance features, but navigates well all the same. Assuming you clear the floor of obstacles, the S9 Plus has no issues fully cleaning the space and returning to the docking station. It has helpful mapping features, an intuitive app, and an auto-empty docking station. While this station isn't as robust as others, it works well and holds on average 30 days of debris. As with Roborock, Roomba has a much larger model lineup if you need something less expensive. The combo J7 Plus and J9 Plus are vacuum mop combos that empty their own dustbins. In addition, the budget-friendly i3 Evo has fewer bells and whistles, but still maintains exceptionally good vacuuming performance. The Shark Matrix, like the previously mentioned robot vacuums, has excellent debris removal with 97.3% clean across all floor types. It had nearly perfect results on hardwood, but lagged behind a little on low and high power carpet. However, the Matrix is one of the best performing robots at managing long hair. Only 6.7% of the strands tangled around the brush roll after the test. Pet hair performance wasn't quite as great and it lacks any obstacle avoidance. Despite the lack of a camera, the Matrix navigates efficiently without getting stuck and returning to base. 
it has a useful app and an auto empty base. This is the only robot vacuum on this list that uses a bagless dustbin in the base, which reduces annual maintenance cost. While it may lack some of the latest and greatest features, it still performs well and has thoughtful additions that enhance usability. Considering the price point, the Sharp Matrix is an easy recommendation. As previously mentioned, the Roomba i3 Plus Evo is a more budget-friendly robot vacuum from Roomba that still packs excellent performance and great usability features. Across all debris removal tests, the i3 Plus Evo cleaned 99.0% of debris, matching the performance of the S9 Plus. Long and pet hair performance was both solid, but it does lack mopping capabilities. Due to the device's age, it lacks some of the newest bells and whistles that we see on current flagship models. That said, the i3 Plus Evo comes with an auto empty base station that greatly reduces the maintenance. It's not the highest tech option on this list by any means, but seeing this level of performance at this price point makes the Roomba i3 Plus Evo an easy recommendation. This video is sponsored by NapLab. NapLab is our sister channel where we put mattresses to the test. We test mattresses through our battery of nine different tests to create the most objective, transparent, and helpful reviews possible. If you're in the market for a new mattress and need help, visit us over at naplab.com or on our channel at YouTube. Cleaning performance is the most important factor we consider when choosing the best vacuums. We test many factors depending on the vacuum type, including long and pet hair tests, edge and crevice tests, and mop tests for robot vacuums. Due to the difference in testing procedures, we will separate robot vacuums from the other devices to make this a more accurate comparison. Across all cleaning tests, the Dyson Ball Animal 3 is the clear winner. With 99.4% debris removal across all floor types, no other vacuum comes close except the Samsung Jet 75. Surprisingly, the Jet 75 had nearly identical performance with 99.3% debris removal. The worst performing model was the Shark Navigator Liftaway Pro with 83.6% debris removal. However, it's also incredibly budget friendly, so some of that misperformance can be excused. In regards to long hair, practically every single vacuum recommended on this list managed long hair well. Many vacuums had perfect scores, while others were practically there themselves, with the notable exception being the Shark Navigator and the Samsung Jet 75. For comparison, the average upright we test has 10.6% of long hair tangle around the brush roll. The average cordless stick has 14.2% of the strands tangle, based on all of our tests to date. Pet hair performance was great for all the devices, and edge test was no threat to any vacuum. The same could be said for the crevice test, except for the Shark Navigator, which struggled removing debris from the deepest crevices in our testing lane. When it comes to the robot vacuums, the Roombas are the clear winner with debris removal. Whether it's the S9 Plus or the i3 Plus Evo, both have 99% debris removal. However, neither the Roborock S8 Pro Ultra or Shark Matrix are that far behind. There is only 1.7% difference between these four devices. Robot vacuums struggle more with long hair compared to other vacuums. However, we still have a clear standout winner. While the performance wasn't perfect, the Shark Matrix only had 6.7% of the hair tangle in the brush roll. The Roomba S9 Plus was second, but was still far behind, having 56% of the hair tangle by weight. Pet hair performance wasn't nearly as good as the other vacuum types, with the closest robot being the Roomba S9 Plus, which removed 87% of pet hair. Edges and crevices weren't a major issue for any robot vacuum, and the Roborock S8 Pro Ultra was the only robot with a mop, which had excellent performance while cleaning. For the sealed system test, we want to determine how well the entire vacuum system is sealed. Vacuums that are fully sealed ensure that dust and debris vacuum stays inside the vacuum. Vacuums that are not fully sealed may spread dust and debris around your home. To test this, we set up a fog machine and place the tube of the vacuum directly in front of the output nozzle. We then turn on the vacuum and release short bursts of smoke into the vacuum, checking how well the device is sealed. This test is performed on upright and cordless stick vacuums, not robot vacuums. Every single vacuum was completely sealed except the Samsung Jet 75. That said, only a small amount of the smoke escaped the device during the test. 
I would still consider this level of performance to be acceptable. To test the runtime of cordless stick vacuums, we fully charge the battery and run it on a single power mode until the battery is empty. The test is performed exclusively on cordless stick vacuums. A majority of the robot vacuums can recharge and resume, making runtime a non-factor and upright vacuums have cords, giving them endless runtime. Our testing showed the Shark Stratos cordless had the longest runtime at 78 minutes and 50 seconds. The Dyson Gen 5 Detect wasn't too far behind, but the Samsung Jet 75 was. It had considerably lower runtime at 44 minutes and 19 seconds. On average, based on all of our cordless stick vacuum tests to date, run times on the lowest power mode reach 59 minutes and 3 seconds. Navigation focuses on the robot's ability to clean a space without getting stuck, its cleaning speed, and the effectiveness of the obstacle avoidance technology. As the user controls upright and cordless stick vacuums manually, this test is performed exclusively on robot vacuums. In terms of navigation, the Roborock S8 Pro Ultra is the only robot on this list with an RGB camera and obstacle avoidance technology. While the tech isn't perfect, it gives an edge in cleaning on a broader scale. The other robot vacuums clean well, but might need some obstacles moved to make this process easier. When there are no obstacles, the Sharp Matrix is the fastest, cleaning the space in 45 minutes. Vacuums can be loud while cleaning, whether it's upright, cordless stick, or robot. To measure how loud, we run each device on each power mode available and measure the level of noise generated. We do this with a sound meter from about 3 feet away. For comparison, we also take a baseline measurement of the ambient noise in the room. Additionally, we measure the noise generated when the device self-empties, if that feature is available. Across the board, upright and cordless stick vacuums are consistently louder than robot vacuums. At 81.1 decibels, the Dyson Ball Animal 3 was the loudest device across all vacuums on this list. On the other end, the Sharp Matrix had the quietest device at 65.1 decibels on the highest suction mode. Usability varies across each device, largely dependent on the type of the device. Robot vacuums are designed to be more hands-free, while cordless stick vacuums are lighter weight, more maneuverable alternatives to uprights. Each vacuum comes with a set of accessories and features that aid in cleaning performance. Upright vacuums are larger, require a cord, and often have a larger dustbin, whereas cordless stick vacuums are lighter weight and easier to move around on, but require a battery and have smaller dustbins. The table on screen outlines the included accessories and features related to usability. Please keep in mind that some vacuums have multiple variations that may come with different accessories. Usability for robot vacuums focuses on the features that make it more convenient to use. Features like app connectivity or an auto-empty docking station enhance the user experience. Every robot vacuum recommended has app connectivity, however, the Roomba i3 Plus Evo lacks some of the newer bells and whistles when it comes to apps. That said, every device includes an auto-empty base. The docking station for the Roborock S8 Pro Ultra is by far the most impressive. It automatically empties the debris, washes and dries the mop pads, and refills the water supply. In turn, that means more maintenance on the dock itself, but it makes it more infrequent. Another standout is the bagless dustbin on the Shark Matrix. Removing the bag reduces annual maintenance costs for the user and is a nice addition that many consumers will appreciate. Maintenance takes into consideration how expensive and difficult it is to maintain a device. Robot vacuums tend to lean on the more expensive side of things, while upright vacuums tend to be the least expensive. However, robot vacuums often also have a robust docking station and make daily maintenance less of a hassle. So, which vacuum is the best choice for you? Price is an important factor as well as device type. However, there are some key differences that set the different vacuums apart. For upright vacuums, if you're looking for the best in the business, the Dyson Ball Animal 3 is it. It has powerful suction and fantastic clean performance across the board. In addition, the Shark Stratos Upright is a close runner-up that offers some additional functionality. If you're looking to save some cash, then the Shark Navigator is a good choice. It packs quite a bit of power, but at a much lower price point. For cordless stick vacuums, the Dyson Gen 5 Detect and Outsize are the most expensive, but high-tech and best performing at the same time. The Shark Stratos Cordless is our mid-range pick, offering incredible performance, great features, and an odor-neutralizing pod. Finally, the budget-friendly choice is the Samsung Jet 75. 
while it lacks some bells and whistles, it's still a powerful choice and a great performer at a great price. Finally, if you want the best robot vacuums has to offer, then choose the Roborock S8 Pro Ultra. It offers all the usability features that make it easier to use, paired with excellent cleaner performance across the board. If you don't need a mop but want raw vacuum power, choose the Roomba S9 Plus. It has incredible debris removal with an auto-empty dock. The Shark Matrix is a more budget-friendly robot that offers great cleaning performance and a bagless debris bin for reduced maintenance costs. For the most bang for your buck, look no further than the Roomba i3 Plus Evo. It comes with an auto-empty dock, has great cleaning performance, and is updated to have smart navigation features. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Comments or questions, please drop us those notes down below. If you're interested in buying any of the vacuums we featured today, we've got links in the description. For more from Modern Castle, be sure to get subscribed, ring that bell, and visit our ModernCastle.com. As always, thank you so much for watching.